guys so today's look is guess what the zombie pinup look this is a very popular look I know a lot of people have different takes on it I just think for a zombie pinup it's very essential for the green color I don't know I just don't feel like it's a zombie pinup if it doesn't have that I know a lot of people do just like scarring and everything on their face to make it look like a zombie pinup but to me the green is definitely definitely a must-have and Hope you guys enjoy this look and keep watching if you want to see how I got this look okay so first things first just make sure that you prime your face and moisturize it uh, sorry for the noise I have a fan on and I have noise from outside because I have the window open so please bear with me if you can't hear me very well usually my audio is pretty good on this camera so let's get started so first I'm going to use this creamy beige um, three in one uh, CoverGirl three in one Outlast Stay Fabulous, and I'm going to use the Sleek palette, the from the Eye Divine Caraco. This is the palette, and I'm going to use this first green color, this like lighter green color, and I'm going to mix it on this mirror here. I'm going to put like three or four pumps um, because you want to mix it you want to have enough to mix and you want to have enough for your face so you get a, a consistent shade and I'm going to take that green color and put some inside the foundation so I started mixing and it's kind of a work in progress so I'm going to mix on my face as well but um, let me show you guys what I got so far I'm using my finger to apply it because this is all very new to me. It's actually a really good shade of green. And the coverage of course is amazing. This foundation is amazing for coverage. For this look, if you're going to use it for Halloween you definitely want to get your ears and your neck if depending on your neckline you want to define those and use this on those areas as well Now I'm going to go in with the translucent powder just to somewhat set this in. You don't have to do this. Or you can wait till the very end and use like a makeup setting spray. Next I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and stake out some spots where I want to have some of a scar. I have a scar on my forehead so why not right? Now I'm going to use a black gel liner 
to kind of give the give some depth to the scars and then I'm going to use a green eyeshadow with that to kind of blend that out. Once you're satisfied with the way the scars look, um, you you always can skip the scars if you like, but I think it looks great um, with this look. Have a little fun, it's Halloween. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and start contouring your face and also your neck. If you are doing the neck area or the collarbone or anything like that, you're going to want to contour all those areas. So for the contour, I'm going to use that darker green color and kind of um, use it as you normally would contour and then blend it out. I might actually use a little black as well. But let's see where this goes. I think I'm gonna use my fingers to try to blend out this contour. I'm not using my regular makeup brushes right now. I think um, you should have like a separate set for Halloween tutorials or Halloween makeup. Now for the eyebrows, I'm going to use this pencil. Um, it's from the brand Starlux and it's called Obsidian. If you have an Ipsy uh, subscription, then you might have gotten this in your last Ipsy bag. So you can um, keep your normal shape of eyebrows or if you want to cover it up with, with the um, green, you can kind of go a little out of the shape of your eyebrows. I have a pretty defined um, arch, so that looks really well with this look.
I like this because this is a cold pencil so it glides and I mean glides on. Okay, now that the eyebrows are done, I'm gonna move on to the eyelids. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of a primer. Um, I'm gonna use the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Continuous Almond. Now it's gonna be covered up with eyeshadow, so it doesn't matter that it's a different color. And I'm just gonna actually use this in the crease area. That's really all I'm gonna define for this look. It's really important to prime your eyes um, for, for Halloween, especially if you're going out because you really need that to last all night. And I'm just gonna use that darker green that I used to contour with in the crease and just blend it out. Use a little black too, just to kind of define them a little bit more. I'm gonna use a lighter green for like a transition color. Now we're gonna go in with the black liner and we're gonna do a cat eye. I'm gonna use the Jordana Fabu liner. And I am going to do a pretty dramatic cat eye. And I'm gonna do this off camera because I know that this video is extra long. Okay, so I went ahead and lined my eyes and I also put on falsies. Um, it takes extremely long for me to put on falsies so I can't do it on camera. It just adds to the stress of being on camera and also the stress of doing falsies. So I just put on the Red Cherry Lashes number 43 and tight line my eye with a black liner. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Moldering Eyeliner. And now we're just gonna go ahead and do our lips. Now for this one, I'm just gonna use a lip liner just so I can define lips. And then I'm gonna use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. It's a deep red color, but it's still like a nice red. So I'm just gonna do that.
So one thing I'm going to do that I originally wasn't going to do is I'm going to add a little tiny bit of a highlight underneath the eyes. By doing that, I'm just going to um, give a little more definition to that area and um, to the to the entire look. I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. It's the HD Pro Concealer. And then if I have any um, odd coloring from this, I can always use the green eyeshadow to touch it up. So this is the finished look. All I did was add a simple um, pearl necklace and a little flower in the hair, a red flower. It doesn't matter how you want to accessorize it, just accessorize it. I really had so much fun doing this tutorial. Like I said, you would carry it onto your ears and lower it onto your neck. Since I'm not going anywhere and I'm just going to wash it off, I didn't do the entire thing, but you get the picture and you would just do the same thing as it on the face, on the neck and ears. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'm so so excited. I love Halloween. I cannot wait to film more videos for you guys. If you have any questions just uh, comment down below and like this video if you like this look and you want to see more Halloween tutorials from me. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.